Metal Health. This is Metal Health Get Ranked, because I don't have an interview this week. Uh, Get Ranked is uh, where I basically split the hairs, you know, and I rank my least favorite to most favorite album by a band. And this week we're doing Woods of E-Prey, all right? So Woods of E-Prey, one of my favorite bands. I was lucky enough to talk to Esther Gold, who is David Gold's mom. Um, David Gold was the man behind Woods of E-Prey. Uh, there wouldn't be a Woods of E-Prey without David Gold. And, um, yeah, let's just say that, like, I love this band. I was lucky enough to see them before he passed. Uh, he passed um, just over nine years ago. And um, I saw them in 2008. I, it was, like, I think in late November here in Toronto. Um, yeah, it was, it was a fun show. It was... It was different, you know, uh, David was just got new band members and uh, they didn't know all the songs yet. So what they did was they played um, Your Ontario Town is a Burial Ground, which is off of Woods 3 here. And then they played uh, the entire first album, which was uh, like an EP of uh, yeah, Against the Seasons. And then, um, then they played Your Ontario Town is a Burial Ground again. All right, so it was fun, different. Uh, David was selling his own merch like he did. And uh, so I did get to meet him and buy, I bought, I bought that, the first EP and the, that album, Deepest Roots, Darkest Blues, uh, from David. And a long sleeve shirt that was your Ontario town is a barrel ground, long sleeve. Very cool. Very cool. All right, so, um, uh, some people aren't going to like my opinions. Uh, I don't like other people's opinions, but um, this is my opinion on the ranking of the albums by Woods of E-Prey. So let's get into this. My least favorite out of the albums, some people are going to disagree with me, and uh, I don't care. This is my opinion. I'm allowed to have it. Tell me what your favorite albums are uh, in the comments. You're allowed, just like I'm allowed to do this. If you don't like it to the point where you make your own uh, channel and then give your own ranking, good for you. Way to start something. That's what I'm doing. All right. So let's start this off. My least favorite album is the last one, Gray Skies and Electric Light. All right. So it was the first album to come out on uh, a major label. The last album they did, um, David passed away like two months before this album came out or so. So we never got to see how much everyone loved it. This album won a Juno. It was, uh, it was it's really good and really popular. And um, yeah, but the thing is, for me, I like more um, and more extreme metal uh, majority of the time. Uh, yeah, and this album is the least of the extreme because they started off more of as a black metal band with doom metal influences and ended off more of a doom metal band with black metal influences. And this is the least black metal album out there uh, by Woods of Ypres. So, yeah. Like, when I show people this album, a lot of times they'll be like, oh, this is metal? Because they they don't realize that, like, it, just because the guy isn't screaming that it's not metal. I mean, it's heavy, and uh, it can be slow at times, it can be fast at times. It's just really cool, really well produced. Um, yeah, what can I say? Uh, it's just... I like the other ones better. What can I say? All right. Um, yeah. So basically, that was the first, the only album to come out on major label. I will not mention the label because let's just say anytime I interview someone and um, uh, we're like when the camera's not rolling and, I, and we talk about this label, majority of the time, no one has anything good to say about it. And if you look up the label, there's always lawsuits everywhere, like decapitated. Uh, sued them like uh, yeah there's just lawsuits all the time like if I was a lawyer I would, would like to have uh, get be getting a retainer from that label because you'd be making money lots of work but you'd be making money all right so uh, there's that and uh, yeah yeah so gray skies electric light um, my favorite my three favorite songs on it are uh, silver uh, career suicide isn't real suicide and uh, modern life architecture architecture yeah, yeah, that one, that one. Now, those are my three favorite. A lot of people like the last end of the uh, album, but, um, yeah, it's just, 
I prefer what I prefer, and I'm allowed to, so take that. Um, yeah, start your own channel. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, that's my least favorite. It's, um, if you, if you, a lot of people who don't know and like, like, don't like a lot of metal, they're more likely to like that album than the other ones. Um, I'm not going to say it's like their black album, comparing them to Metallica, but, um, more people will like that one than the, uh, the other ones. We'll put it that way. All right. So, uh, and then after that, so that was their fifth, fourth full length album, but their fifth album and their first album was Against the Seasons. Um, I really like this. This is one of the first ones I've listened to. Um, when I heard the band, uh, it's very much more black metal than doom metal because it's the very first, um, Woods of Ypres recording to come out really, as far as I know. And, uh, yeah, so it's just, it's fast, it's black metal -y, and, um, yeah, it's just, I really enjoy that album. I listen, I've listened to it for, um, well over 12 years, because, uh, I saw Woods V. Prey in 2008, and as I said, they played that whole album, and, uh, it was very cool, very cool. Um, uh, back in those days, what, that was like 2002 that that album came out? So, uh, yeah, and uh, back when they were based out of Windsor, because uh, that's where the band started out. All right, so uh, after that album, I'm going to go with another probably unpopular opinion. But um, uh, after that album, so like, so we got my least favorite is Grey Skies Electric Light. Right after that is Against the Seasons. And then after that is Woods 4. Woods 4, uh, the green album is the album that uh, basically got them signed to that label that I'm not going to mention, all right? Um, there's lots of cool songs. Uh, the music video for uh, uh, I Was Buried in Mount Pleasant Cemetery, very cool. Um, it's like, that album, it's like when they really start to get more doomy than black metal. Um, yeah, like a lot of people really like it, and out of, out of the five I own, uh, that's the um, most expensive full length that I had to pay for on Discogs, but worth it because I, I still love the album. Lots of very cool songs on there, and uh, I really enjoy it. So when I'm in those doom metal moods, uh, I put that one on. And what can I say? Um, very cool. I interviewed the only drummer to drum on any of the albums other than David himself, Evan Madden. Uh, who was, yeah, he dr he drummed, he was the drummer on the Green album there, so that's very cool. The only drummer to drum on any Woods of Ypres album other than David Gold. So, uh, give it up to Evan Madden. Hmm. Alright, so, um, after that, you know, I'm gonna, what can I say about that album? It came out in, uh, 2009, so after I saw them live, um, a lot of people liked that. And yeah, as I said, that album was, they were touring for that album when the guy from the record label, I'm not going to mention, saw them and then got them signed and got the ball rolling on that. Cause, um, even the guy who signed them was saying how impressive it was to have four albums out basically with, without any major label backing them. So yeah, and it is impressive. Uh, the sound quality on all these albums are great too. All right. So, um. Yeah, so that's the first three down. First three down. After that, I'm going to go Pursuit of the Sun, Allure of the Earth. All right? It's the second album that they pulled out, the four, first full length. And um, I absolutely love that. It is doomy, and it's still black metal, but doomy, like pretty doomy, right? And, uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. It just has a very cool uh, atmosphere to it. Um uh, I guess, like, when they, uh, were recording the album, the producer, uh, was ripping on David because he didn't use a, um, a metronome for, uh, when they were recording it, so, um, when he was doing drums, so there is some parts that are off time a bit, but, like, I don't care, I love the album, it sounds great to me, I don't give a fuck, take that, Mr. Producer Guy, good job, but, like, yeah, I still love this album, um, Great songs on it, you know, um, yeah, they all just kind of blend together for me because I, I never listen to one individual song. It's always a whole album, and uh, then I'm done. The 
7 inch that came out with this one that's got um, like uh, some more instrumental parts. I don't have that. That's the one piece of the uh, Woods V Prey Pie I'm missing, right? So uh, there's that. Um, so, but after Pursuit of the Sun, Allure of the Earth, I'm going to go with Woods 3. Um, deepest Roots, Darkest Blues. Um, this was, uh, I, I bought this album from David when I had it on CD before I started collecting records about two and a half years ago. Um, I listened to this CD so much and it has helped me so much. Like anyone who knows my story, um, uh, recovering drug addict, and there's definitely lyrics in this album that have helped me out a lot, a lot. Uh, I already talked about it when I got to interview Esther, uh, David Gold's mom. Um, yeah, this, this album does it for me every time. Uh, I love it. There's so many great songs. Uh, it's heavy, and um, it's it's like more. It's, I I don't know. For me, it sounds like more heavy than Pursuit of the Sun, Lure of the Earth, and um, yeah, it's the last one before they really started to get like almost too doomy for me. But I do love the uh, the last two full length albums, as I've said. But uh, that one just it does something special for me. Like um, I have the uh, the long sleeve shirt. So what the V Prey on the back, it's got, uh, it says your Ontario town is burial ground. I wore that proudly for as many years as I fit into it because I, got, I was skinny and then I could fit into it. And then with my meds and everything from schizophrenia, then I gained 75 pounds in three months. So I couldn't fit into it. Then uh, stimulants and drug abuse made it so I could fit into it again. And now I don't fit into it because I quit doing drugs and stimulants, but I'll get back there slowly. All right. So that's a little bit of that. Um, it was just a very cool album and, uh, I really enjoy it. Um, there's weird bit, like even my dad likes it. Cause, uh, there's, there's a part where, um, I was listening to it back at my parents' house and, um, I fell asleep on the couch. And then, uh, when I woke up, even my dad told me like, Oh, what was that album that you were listening to there? It was uh, pretty good. And I was like, yeah, that was Woods V Prey. Deepest Roots, Darkest Blues. Yeah, so uh, that is great. But pound for pound, my favorite Woods of Prey recording is Home. All right? Home. It's got two songs on it. And I paid more for these two songs than pretty much all of those other albums put together when I bought that last April. All right? So... On Home, there's the song uh, Falling Apart, and there's the song You Were the Light. All right. Um, uh, this is the number 66 out of the 150, first 150 that were signed. 66, that's pretty fucking metal, right? Yeah. So uh, we got David Gold's uh, signature on there, and that means world to me. Um, this album... The tones on You Were the Light is just the coolest thing. And the lyrics, you know, I love Woods V Prey a lot because of the lyrics. They've really helped me out in some dark situations. Um, yeah, this is my favorite Woods V Prey, my pride and joy of my record collection. This is, this is like my holy grail, grail for my record collection. Um, I had it on my wish list on Discogs. It popped up. I got it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm now missing an arm and a leg because of it. But I've got it. And it's number 66. So how could you not enjoy that? Um, right. So basically, what to be pray? I love this band. Um, least favorite, Grey Skies and Electric Light. Uh, second least favorite, Against the Seasons. Then after that, it goes the Green Album for me, and then uh, Pursuit of the Sun, Allure of the Earth, um, Deepest Roots, Darkest Blues, and Home. Home. All right. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what your favorite uh, ranking of the Woods of E-Prey albums are in the comments. Um, you can harp on me if you want. I don't care. But yeah, yeah, the uh, Grey Skies and Electric Light, it's the softest of all of them. And this is called Metal Health, and Metal Health is hard. Thank you. This is the perfect analogy for mental health, all right? Boom, I fall. And then, like, the jogger comes up. 
Oh, well, that happened. That happened right in front of me. Do I have to care? Looks around. Looks around. Do I have to care? Oh, there's no one around. Okay, I'll just keep going. 